I think we'll just 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 start with it, right? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Top twenty six, day one, daily debrief. Uh, we'll, we'll, what we'll try to do is, um, yeah, update you on what's going on, what we've been doing, uh, activities, thoughts, brain farts, um, stuff like that. Como, any, uh, where, what, what, what do we want to share with like? Um, with the people about about today, let, 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 let's... I, I let you I, I let you think. Let me say hi. In, yeah, in sure. Eyes. Yeah. Buenas tardes, mi gente. Buenas tardes acá en Aviala. Son como la una, dos, tres en algunos países. Bueno, estamos aquí en vivo desde Glasgow. Eh, ahí dentro de la COP de 26 en los, uno de los pabellones. Aquí los hermanos Gasali y acá Tomo Giro. Y vamos a hablar, estar hablando un poco de lo que pasó hoy lo que se hizo hoy, empezando desde la mañana. Uh, so, guys, if I want to start, right? uh, let's, let's start with the beginning, the right. entrance. Oh, right. How painful was that? Who got like first? So I think I think I got here first. Uh, I was at the gate by, I believe it was 8:30. Okay. No, sorry, mm -hmm. sorry, 8 o'clock, uh, oh. and. Um, I think today, uh, you know, high-level segments, uh, World Leaders Summit happening at the same time, and a lot of people are also arriving uh, in from Glasgow, uh, in from wherever they were to Glasgow last night. So um, all of that kind of came together. Uh, and when I arrived, um, obviously I had to show my natural flow test to, to uh, prove that I don't have COVID. Well, likely right. not have a COVID, <laughs> and then um, and then uh, and then um, yeah. The, the moment I walked into this outer gate, it was complete madness. Long queue, uh, inside and outside for the security guard, a security check, and it took me about an hour to get it. So because because there's, there's several points right that that they have to check your ID yes. and and COVID tests and all yes. these things. It's like three three times. Yeah. yeah so yeah. The outer gate is where they check the COVID test. Right. And once you clear that, you go through this turnstile. Uh, and then you're kind of in this like a uh, no man's land. Uh, and then, um, and then yeah, there, uh, half an hour. And then, and then you get into this tent where they have the uh, security screening where we put everything through the machine. Uh, and there it was another half an hour. Uh, yeah. And then obviously you pass security and then you have to walk maybe 10 to 15 minutes to get to where you want to be. So, yeah, an hour, an hour, five minutes, an hour, ten minutes. I'm sure it was worse for both of you who came a little bit later. I came in later. Yeah. Um, I think I was, <laughs> I think I was the last one to come in. Yeah. Because uh, I wanted to be, I don't know why. Oh, well, yeah. Because um, my hosts, uh, they um, had a great bed. It was just too hard for me to get out of bed. Uh, so, when... When I was making my way to the cop, like I already see photos from you, from you, from everyone else, the, the huge amount of people that actually were waiting outside yeah. just, to, just to get in. So yeah. um, I think a that was a lot. And a lot of the panelists, uh, you like were canceling there. Yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, pe people, and so not just civil society, but actually everybody. body delegates, country delegates. Um, they were actually because when I was standing in line, like they were around me, like all right. Cancel this side of it. Cancel this side of it. Uh, I can't make it. Or like so, it was. I don't know. Like, uh, hopefully, this won't be the same as for, yeah. for tomorrow. But, oh. They need to find something to like uh, to make the entrance quicker than today because otherwise, or or anyways, we need to get up there. Yeah. Well, what 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 would you advise, right? What so so people people get in early as early yeah. as possible or skip this rush hour. I think what people need to understand is that, you know, COP is actually, you know, a very, very security intense venue. Yeah. Uh, no, but more today. Yeah. More and more, also. even more so today. Oh, yeah. That's why the, it was. Because of yeah. the leader summit. Uh, so you do need to take a lot of time uh, to get through and think ahead. Yeah. Let me, let me explain this. Sure. Yeah. Go, go ahead. Mi gente, yo sé que hay mucha gente que están viendo. Aquí empezamos a hablar uh, desde, la, desde la mañana del principio de cómo fue complicado eh, para nosotros entrar. Por ejemplo, 
eh, Tomohiro llegó primero, eh, pero le tomó como casi una hora del, de la entrada principal que tienes que enseñar todos los días tu prueba de COVID, ¿eh? Así que eres negativo y entonces pasas la primera. Después era, estaba una fila tan larga y yo lo subí en la historia de TV Indígena en Instagram, porque lo vieron en Facebook, y, y esa, esa fila quedaba antes de entrar, también había fila. Adentro había otra fila. Y tienes que pasar otra otro seguridad. Y adentro hay otra fila, donde haces toda la fila y, claro, la parte en que, tiene, que tienes que escanear con rayo X tus cosas para ver qué traes y todo. Si traes agua, te ponen a tomar, por si nos mostra trae alguna cosa que debía. Y entonces, ya tan siquiera entonces, pero todo esto a, to, a Tomohiro le tomó casi una hora. A mí me tomó casi una, como 40, 45 o 50 minutos también. Y entonces lo que explicaba Gazali es que muchas personas empezaron a cancelar sus reuniones o las presentaciones que tenía. Nosotros también tuvimos que cancelar porque teníamos a las 10 de la mañana, porque, claro, quizás habíamos pensado por el COVID iba a ser así, pero fue mucho más. O sea, es que nada, maybe, because of the COVID, uh, like, we thought that it's going to be like this, but not that. Yeah, 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 but but like you said, like probably the the, the leader summit might have something yes. to do with it as well. Um, all right, so that that was the entrance. That was the entrance. Uh, that, that was the, yes. the biggest challenge that we had to, like, that we were afraid of. Well, is this going to be the rest of the the two weeks? Then we might have a uh, we might have a problem when it comes to meetings and 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 right. uh, and, and so forth. Um, all right, let, let's let's talk about is, is that what we are. Actually, I think entrance. I think we could talk about you know how COVID is actually affecting the way we engage uh, at this summit. I mean, Look at this right now. Yes. So, <laughs> so you know we have to wear masks and uh, social distance ourselves, obviously. But you know, no, but, I, but the entrance is like and social yeah, distance is gone. You it was uh, a mess. People trying to get in, so they were very close to each other. So they were a place where where we didn't feel like the rules have been forced upon. But you know, Ghazali, um, it would be interesting for you to reflect on, you know, how you know how how restricted the observers are in terms of accessing, you know, observing that the meeting itself. <laughs> <laughs> no, that that is that, the thing is because my phone literally blew up, oh. as in, uh, so that there's a like constituency. Thing. We have uh, uh, signal groups, uh, WhatsApp groups, right. And everyone was obviously telling, well, oh, the, the line is huge. Uh, um, just And a lot of people were discouraged, actually, that, the, you know what, the line is so, so long, I'll just stay at home. And yeah. I'll try to watch it from, from the live stream. Whereas the, the platform to watch it live on live wasn't even ready yet. Mm -hmm. you know? so, so it was it was difficult to be able to be part of the conversation or to participate in, 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 this, in this meeting. That is that was already at the um, uh, at the entrance, you know, and then right. a big part of the conference uh, conference site, the venue was closed off because of this leader summit. Right. So there's there's a lot of places that you couldn't get into where you have meetings scheduled, but you you can get into, uh, and, and and then uh, mm -hmm. and that and that is just movability, you know, the being right. being able to to go uh, to move around in the, at the venue. Right. Then it is actual participation. Which is a which is an issue. Yeah. So we had contact groups, so actually meetings or, or and, and negotiation sessions. And um, right off the bat, the the uh, uh, co-facilitator said, you know what? Only one delegate per per, uh, per delegate country. Yeah. Constituent uh, constituencies um, uh, only got would receive four passes for uh, six meetings. Right. Cool. You know. You know. So it. So you're actually, in a way, Did all the meetings started at the same time. Today? That is the problem because you didn't know which meeting was starts when, you know. And there's a lot of like, like meeting that's supposed to start at ten would start at eleven right. because of some delays, you know. Also because of what what, what happened inside of outside, yeah. but there is. Uh, but the, the problem with the platform was with the, the on to watch it online is if you wanted to uh, join it, and the, the meeting originally was scheduled. Kind of Schedule from 10 to 11, and but the meeting actually ha started at 11, at 11, and you wanted to join, you couldn't because 
it was scheduled from 10 to 11 yeah. on the plat on that on the online platform. So there's there just was, show this ended. The show was ended. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you, you couldn't even watch the, the yeah. whole entire enti yeah. entire meeting yeah. that you wanted to attend. Yeah. And, and those are important meetings as constituencies, indigenous peoples, women, gender, everyone, to 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 monitor those meetings so that you can you know what to do when it comes to advocacy. So that that is, and so and so how how we got the information for them? Online. So oh, there is a um, virtual platform which was made available for this COP because of COVID and because not not everybody can come to the venue to participate. Um, so it's one of those innovations that really took off uh, in UNFCCC uh, to encourage you know virtual participation, but that never worked, and that's why we are we are actually here. Mm -hmm. because, because because people realize that you cannot negotiate and do diplomacy uh, online. Um, but obviously, you know, you're man you know, the, the platform is trying to manage over thirty thousand participants, uh, and um, and obviously, you know, in a normal time, we would all go to the meeting uh, and observe. Um, um, you used to sit on the floor, right? Um, just fill up every space, every little space that, that was available in the meeting room. But now, literally, 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 yeah, literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now, you know, uh, there's a concrete limit number on how many people can go into these meeting rooms, uh, uh, and 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 the rest will just have to be satisfied by watching uh, online. We can no longer go up to the negotiator and pass memos because we're no longer there. Anymore. Um, so, so these are little things that, that, that is really, really affecting the way, not just indigenous peoples, but the NGOs and observers generally are struggling. Yeah. yeah. But um, how, for example, if, if that happens today, do we, do, we, do we get any opportunity to, to talk, to say, please, do something else for tomorrow? Or how can you, can you, how can you do that? There is, uh, uh, what do you mean? In, in terms of like arrangements, or is it in terms of negotiation? Like, can you do something tomorrow? Or no, I mean, like... no, 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 I mean about the, the, the what's uh, happened today. You know, you right. cannot get in. Right, uh, right. You cannot pass the memo. Mm -hmm. And uh, how would you you raise your voice and say, you know, please can you fix it tomorrow? Uh, would like to attend like more people or at least one per per week. Yeah. But now we got the four. Yeah, what you can do is obviously is, is that you raise an, um, uh, you file a file not a raise a file a complaint, but you you say something out loud, you know, in, in a meeting that you have with the, the cop presidency or with a constituency's uh, uh, consultation meeting. Um, that's what you can do. You say like, hey, by the way, last Monday, not anymore, right? Like like, like uh, try to figure figure something out that, that we won't have to go through that that anymore. In terms of a advocacy and negotiations is we have to be resourceful. Um, so in terms of information that we're trying to get, so you, you get information from different sides. So if they're in the room, send you a text like, hey, Norway said this, said this, or hey, Panama said this, or so you, you, you rely more and more on your network um, in terms of providing information. And then because this is a, a, a first meeting, and which was a very interesting meeting, by the way, um, you yeah, you, you you first you gather information because uh, what people what states say outside of COP twenty six is different from what they're going to say inside COP twenty six uh, or inside the in, in in the meetings. So when you hear them them talk in the meeting, you know what's going on. You know the the, the, the state of play. You know what the, their position is, and then you now you strategize. Like you listen, you try to listen as much as possible, and then all right, this is what's new or this uh, this is what's different. And then you figure out with, with like-minded people or other constituencies, all right, this is what uh, this is what we heard. Have you heard the same? Okay, you heard the same. So what is what is our next step? And that's how you try to go forward as constituencies. So what is today? What is today? So uh, yeah, you can uh, say something about this leader summit. Uh, I didn't go to the leader summit. Uh, well, I think uh, there were some tickets available for. Tunga watched it. That's what uh, yeah. Tunga right yeah. on the call. Yeah, he said he watched it. I think I've been following it on the 
the news outlets. And generally, the general reaction by the civil society has been very, very uh, one that is uh, disappointment. Uh, obviously, you know, when leaders show up, we were expecting them to commit to some, commit to new targets, of new ambition. Um, but, you know, we heard today that uh, China, for example, uh, is is not going to propose to meet its target by 2060, which is uh, 2060, 2060. 10, 10 years past, 10 years the, past the, the, know, the deadline. deadline. And India, 2070, right. which is 20 years past the deadline. Right. And then, of course, uh, worlds are going around the uh, United States. I uh, have said a lot of things, but without any, any details. So, so there's, General, think, so there's a lot of motivation for speaking, say, but yeah. um, yet uh, when it comes to substance, it has been brought at this point. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that, that kind of sets a tone for, for, for what is to be expected in, in various work streets uh, uh, around this venue uh, for the next couple of weeks. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's well, I'm, I'm going to track on Article 6, obviously. And uh, well, because of the, the, this whole the problems of, of trying to get in, so we had an office. And little, oh, little side step. Let's talk about office and pavilion. Um, <sighs> well, let, let's start with summer it pavilion. It was crazy together. All right. Yeah, yeah office. Uh, so constituencies, including Indian peoples, we have an office as much as you can call it an office, obviously. Um, cubicles outside. <laughs> well, uh, literally, it's outside. It's literally, literally outside, yeah. in, in a different building, like a, a emergency building. Um, container. Container, container. <laughs> which was it was pretty. It was so cold. Yeah. This this to me, this is like the coldest cup I've ever been. In terms of every, it's everywhere. It's cold. Yeah. 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 Inside, yeah. outside. Well, that's right. That's right. I have yeah. to wear a jacket to to walk inside it. It's yeah. yeah. Um. So that's the IPO office. This is where we where we where we meet. That we, but. Pavilion, like, like, how does it stack up against the pavilion we had, for example, in Madrid? Well, uh, for indigenous people's pavilion, it's very different this year because usually in Madrid, uh, the pavilion it was in a green zone, which yeah. is open to the public, uh, and that was meant. That's generally a space where, where uh, COP and UNFCCC and its participants would engage with the public, uh, to share innovations, ambitions stories, visions, and whatnot. Uh, but this year, um, Indigenous People's Pavilions, I'm not sure if any other constituencies have their pavilions. Uh, I'm it's not right. sure about their pavilions, but they're all in the blue zone, which is actually behind the security zone and, 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 and available only to the registered participants. And I'm not yeah. quite sure how you, how you kind of think about that, um, but, but it is positioned actually in a very prominent place. Uh, it is. And it does look quite... Uh, Quite a, uh, quite a quite a building. Uh, I would say it's, it's very very. Um, well, uh, main nice. main difference is at least to me yes. is I haven't been in the, the the demo area yet. Right. But we have actually have an office. I didn't know that that this yeah. that 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 we would have a pavilion with an office in it. Right. Which is pretty fancy and a, a, a good really looking nice, uh, office actually. Um, it's already occupied obviously. It's just because people saw that as an office and so they put the, the things in there. So we're Pretty much um, uh, confined to the IPO office, uh, but uh, but do you think it's indicative of how much you know, how much the coast how coast you know, the United Kingdom is trying to bring indigenous people at the center of discussion, or is this something else that that, that well is well because comparing to the last one from from Madrid, so actually you had to move around go outside yeah, yeah. in a different zone. Uh, yeah. But we are now in the blues, and there is also an opportunity. Right, you got everyone like right, here. Yeah, the ministers, mm -hmm. the different, even the presidents. They, yeah. they were different, very right. different like pavilions. So, but yeah, but it's fancy. Yeah. I like. So, so people know, uh, um, so that you obviously know that, that there's, there's a distinction, there's a blue zone and a green zone. Blue zone is where all the negotiations happen. It's where where all decisions are being made. And the green zone is where civil society, uh, mostly people from outside, actually, people from, uh, from, from yeah, school children, from, school children yeah. from people from Glasgow, they can see, all right, what, this whole big UFO called COP26 uh, like landed in their backyard. And there's this, this green zone that tells them a little bit what's, 
um, yeah, what's what, what, you know, what's happening uh, over, over here. So it's yeah, it, it's. Um, uh, I hope uh, within the next two weeks to be able to have a meeting or sit down, relax in the, in, our, in our office uh, office space. Uh, well, it has to be. Uh, I think I think I think at some point I think and, and I'm looking at Graham for this one. Um, is that you have to like probably have to uh, uh, reserve. Sure. Maybe uh, right. Or put a schedule. Like you know, because if you want you want to have meetings, you want to have bilateral meetings like uh, um, that. U.S. and these peoples invite states. Uh, as I'm like, hey, um, let, let's sit down. Or in after, our office after of after after yeah. yeah. Okay. That's okay. Or strategize as a, as a as a as a caucus. You know, is it something else also that we should be. Now we have to IPO office, and then, but it's more. It's, but it's you cannot smaller. take people like to IPO office. No, please. No, so uh, it's, it's strategic. The weekend. Yeah, we should. should uh, yeah, that's an idea. Um, how do we got? We can do live tomorrow. Well, to, well, yeah. We can as, to as long as they don't lock it. Yeah. This is the strange thing. I, I don't. I haven't. But Why maybe, they... maybe someone left uh, something like uh, valuable, valuable stuff in us inside and then locked the door. Yeah. Could be. I think, I think if, you, if you look at the pavilions in the blue zone, there are some pavilions that are open. Like people are free, like just like here, people are free to come in uh, and sit down uh, and use the space. And uh, some, some, some you know, pavilions are much, much more like a cubic. Yeah, it is some. It is something to kind of think about. Uh, you know, when when we talk about it's a message, right? So, so, right. so. Did you go to the Panama pavilions? Yeah. All right. Let, let's talk yeah. a little, little bit, a little bit about pavilions. Yeah. Your, your, one... your promotion time. <laughs> promotional, 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 <laughs> and or like, what is it? What is the pavilion? I'm, that I'm, that's... I'm a bit thinking about uh, my conscious pavilion. We get you can talk to your audience. About yeah, like it's like kind of pavilion. Um, Thing. I don't know. <laughs> or we could talk about like what what's the, the the most impressive pavilion or the, the one that stood out that you've seen so far. Well, I mean, you know, it's all visual, uh, very superficial. You know, you just walk past and Ooh, this is this space looks nice, right? Um, no, the other one I saw, what wow. is it like the panels? They were inside, big glass, yeah. and our attendants they were outside. No way. Yeah, use Germany. I think Germany was like a like green a so table and a glass window. Yeah, and, and, and I, I'm not sure which which one was it. I, 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 I get the, the death row people. vibes on, yeah. on, on, on that one, you know. Like, right, like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Seriously, oh, I didn't yeah. see that one. You know, obviously, some you know UK pavilion just next door, as a host of that best place. Right, yeah. and we're now at the unit to see. Pavilion slash chill area. Yeah. They, they have their own Facebook setup, which is pretty cool, actually. Yeah, there's a Google setup there. Google Meets, Facebook Live, yep. Twitter. Yep. <laughs> 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 uh, it's just, um, no, um, Tuvalu. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think. <laughs> to to this, name one that would, that would, to me, stood out like that, that's yeah. not what I would expect yeah. from a, uh, from a, I think I think As you know every pavilion is trying to make a statement. What what they what they're about what they're about. okay yeah. and uh, yeah I mean uh, my yeah obviously the most impactful one is Tuvalu you know, being an island nation and amidst their urgency to follow their life jackets. Yeah, just imagine uh, polar bears wearing, wearing life jackets. <laughs> what are the penguin and and uh, a <laughs> penguin that was hanging hanging. Yeah, like a so, so. yeah. It's obviously it's some kind of artist did that. I, I can yeah. I can yeah. I cannot imagine that Mina yeah. did that. Yeah. Um, uh, one but of yeah, the images. Like, the idea that you know words fails to explain you know, how how much desperate situation they they are in. So they used it up. Right. right. Very much more sharp, explicit message. But the the the, the, the crisis. Right, right. Let, let, let's let's talk quickly about work then. Uh, you know, so um, obviously pavilions, entrance, yeah. all all good and fun. But people that are mostly interested in like, all right, guys, what the hell did you do today? <laughs> ah. You know, like, in, in terms of ab actual 
activities in terms of advancing climate action or indigenous. Um, yeah. So, what, what do we want to talk about? Any anything that you would like to share in terms of? He's tired. He's already yeah. tired. You've been like walking it, around, man. Yes. We we lost you for like a good eight eight yeah. hours, I guess. Uh, actually, I had a meeting outside, mm -hmm. so I left the I left not half of the people were like had a meeting. They didn't have that, mm -hmm. so we had to right. move outside by like two hours. And it's also also getting ready for the Mola say that we have all the activities this week. Yeah, and also. So you're in stable. charge of the Mola. Yes, and the Mola sale and the. Uh, the team, yeah, and I uh, have an interview. You see, Wednesday, yeah, nice. Yeah, so, okay, it's opportunity. It's Spanish, did you see? El I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not sure if it's Span Spanish or English. Spanglish, yeah. Spanish. <laughs> but I think, <laughs> see, they're all in club. Hey, there is still going on, there's still some side events going on. Events. Yeah, it's a hora, so it's not a lot of events for us. Yeah, and then uh, we are going to rise the Mola sale on Thursday. At the entrance, right? Yes. Just like your, all right. Yeah. And the, that's what about the meetings. Mm -hmm. So uh, I couldn't attend any, any side event, but I would like to do it. That I wanted to do it because then I could have every, everyone like much more fun. And, right. And, or La Yala, the other places that they can they can also follow the topics. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I tried also to, to listen at least the, the, the leaders of it, but I couldn't. I couldn't. So it's, it's too much. So much. It's too much. Too much. It's way, too much. way too much, right? Uh, yeah, of course, but okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for the, the opening, yeah. but what about you? Tom? Ah, Tomo, and Tomo met. The ministry. Of you mean the minister of tourism of Panama? Yes. How was that? Uh, well, he's a you know very young, right? And I'm assuming he's up and coming. Uh, rising uh, stars is as rising, as well. rising <laughs> star of politics in Panama, and and yeah, very friendly. Um, uh, you know, he's he's doing a lot of outreach to indigenous peoples in Panama. Um, uh, and he was carrying a bag full of masks that are made by um, indigenous artists um, there. And, and and he was kind enough to give me a give me a mask. He um, gave you a mask. Oh, yeah, right, I'm, nice. I'm not sure where I have it now, but it is very very beautiful. From Emberas. Yes, from Emberas. Yes. All right. Um, and and I think um, I, mean, I I'm not expert on 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 on, uh, on uh, politics in Panama, and I don't want to sugarcoat you know his his presence. Um, <laughs> but um, I I think there is a there is a lot of um, emphasis on. On uh, tourism being sustainable and obviously respect to to, to the people uh, living there. Um, so you know, I'm 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 establishing a lot of connections with Panama. I have already Panama here. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> and, and I need to go there. <laughs> and, and I need to go there. And obviously, so obviously Ayala, you know, yeah. uh, the people, island. People people are talking about it. My, my friends. Um, uh, well, I have a lot of friends from Panama now. Because I've been to Panama, so one day. You cannot stay behind. This is what you were yeah. saying. Like you have to. Yeah. No one, no one gets left behind, and I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, it, it, it is it is very fun. You know, when you talk about Panama, the memory you have of Panama, people you met in Panama. I I I feel like I need to. Right. That, and, and we have a regional meeting. That, that's, that's yeah. It's, apparently, that's. One of the things that that um, the late Esabancho and, ah, and, yes. and, and and Andrea were yeah. trying to set up um, uh, pre-COVID and probably hopefully that that will take place um, somewhere uh, somewhere next year. Yeah. So yeah. Estamos hablando un poco de todo y acá sale la relación de que quizás como en marzo se va, va a haber una una reunión de la plataforma de las comunidades locales y pueblos indígenas. Eh, sí, debe ser a mediados, pero todo esto lo había planificado este Bancio. Y entonces eh, se va a seguir con, con el plan que tenía Sebancio, ¿no? Antes de la locura del COVID y todo. Pero si hablamos un poco de todos los pabellones, de cómo es, que lo otro, y hay un pabellón que tiene un vidrio, además tiene las personas que hablan, y todos los demás están afuera, pero con, con los audífonos, eh, escuchando 
lo que, lo que se dice adentro, esas son las cosas que nosotros vimos. Y bueno, muchas cosas más y las reuniones que vienen bajando uh, son uh, Article 6. Article 6, uh, very good one. Uh, I saw you take your breath first, so uh, any, any thoughts? Um, well, it's a... Uh, Who bar? It's, it's hard because I can't read the word. Um, 100%. Statements, you know, are, are... I mean, there are... I felt there were some changes. I mean, you know, when we... When we when we observe what they say about human rights, uh, human rights on the speakers. Uh, I think I think you're you're better to explain this yes, uh, yes. because you've been involved. But I think for me, um, it, it, I just find it very difficult to focus um, on the screen. Um, that, that's my that's my you know experience. Uh, uh, yeah, my first kind of coming out of me is like, Dude, like you know, it's, it's a lot. Yeah, because because um, and. When you're in a room and, and, and you, um, it is also super important when, when someone speaks that you look at who's listening and how they respond to it. Too. And you, can see, you cannot see that on a live stream, but you only look at the people, the person that, 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 is, that is speaking. Um, and getting a, a sense of the room is super important when you, when you want to um, yeah, influence the decision that is being made or like the, the, the sentiment in, in the room. Particularly when you talk about language, that is very. You don't even know who's raising the background, right? That too. Yeah. yeah. So you're you're uh, you're in a very um, how how should I say it? Um, no, and it's not in no, in a passive mode. Yeah, you you just taking all taking it all in. Whereas whereas in negotiations and when you're in the room, you're in a proactive mode. Even though you're sitting and you're listening, mm. but you're observing. You know, you're using all your sen uh, senses to, to yeah, to to get a feel of, of what's wow. going on. So, um, trying to get a understanding of, of the room is super is was super difficult. Um, however, so so we all can only focus on what's what's said, right? you know, and, and and try to make sense of it, and then try to put it into perspective, as in what they say right now. How does that relate to what they said um, in the non-negotiation? sessions online and, and in Madrid. So is, is there is there an increasing line? Is, is there improvement or is it a decline? Um, so that's how you listen to it to um, to what uh, states are saying. And like 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 Thomas said before, it was it was interesting because um, uh, the, the states that we expected them to say something about uh, human rights and the rights of indigenous peoples in Article 6, they said something about it. Um, and we were also surprised. Um, one was obviously that, that, that uh, a new group stood up, a group of states. So not just one country, but a group of states stood up, and uh, the alliance of, of, of small island states, and uh, they said they they took note of, and then they they they, they supported human rights uh, in in Article in our, in our Six. So that opens up. If you look at at the the, the map of the world, it adds a, a few more. Countries actually that that support human rights, and that is that that is good. Something that also surprises is that already in the first meeting a red line was drawn, as in like a bottom line. Uh, for example, Bolivia. Bolivia um, uh, was a very firm, short statement, said that non-market approaches need to be uh, considered as much as they're considering market approaches in terms of. Uh, carbon reductions. That's they, and it drew a red line. So th that is that that was interesting. And for us, like I said, what we did is was um, all right. We listened to all these speeches. We listened to all everything that they say, and then we strategize amongst each other, uh, amongst the the, the 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 ones that are experts in in Article Six. Uh, so not just from the indigenous side, but also from other constituencies. So we just came out of that meeting. All right, what do we do? What is the next step? Uh, what do you, what do we provide? What do we expect? And yeah, and then the first iteration or the first draft or the text is coming out tonight. Maybe it's already come out. We don't know. Um, 
during this live stream. Maybe the, the Kofi Sifted is watching, like, ah, oh, let's, let's put out a live stream let, put, no, put the no, text no. before they're before they done speaking, or while they're speaking. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and then we have to, um, yeah, obviously read the text, but tomorrow it is, it is game time for us. It is, all right, everyone needs to pick a state, or like, like we do this uh, according to tactics, obviously, uh, and approach them uh, and, and try to get into a meeting so that we can, can suggest a language, and then see, see, and then see from there like, how, to, to move forward. And I think that is basically what, what Article Six was about today. And then also have a, a also a little bit of a uh, insight into what we can, what people can expect from the daily updates sure. or debriefs tomorrow. Let me explain. Uh, sure. Bit Sorry about that, man. No, no. <laughs> Es, es un poco de todo lo que estamos haciendo en Spanglish. Tomo está aprendiendo el español también. Va poco a sí, poco. Casali sí. eh, entiende un poquito también, pero habla también un poquito. Sí. ¿no? Nada más que habla 12 idiomas. Bueno. Ya, eh, y bueno, eso, eso es lo que bueno, tratamos de hacer. Boca hoy se retiró temprano. También el amigo Johnson. Saludos, deben estar viéndonos eh, allá. Y bueno, también en general sobre que es el artículo 6 de cómo se hizo el seguimiento, como todo esto ha sido un poco complicado de entrar, de salir, que alguien que nada más puede entrar una sola persona, todo eso también es complicado. Entonces, lo, lo va a ser más resumido posible. Bueno, acá el amigo ha dicho que, que sabe, sabemos que hay países que siempre han apoyado a lo que es el derecho de pueblos indígenas en el artículo 6, ¿no? Y también en sus declaraciones de paz como países. Y también, eh, también algo que ha extrañado, que algunos estados de, de islas que han, que han emergido y han estado apoyando eh, esto. Pero entonces está apenas el comienzo y quizás el borrador salga ahora en la noche de, de lo que se dijo, pero esto es apenas empezando. Apenas empieza y mañana va a ser esto, el avance cada día y acá el equipo. Eh, traemos un poco para explicarle de, de qué se trata esto y bueno, claro, que pueden comentar, pueden preguntar en, eh, allí en los comentarios sobre un poco sobre, sobre esto, ¿no? Sé que es complicado, un, un inglés o un español, pero, pero creo que ya mañana también con el amigo Johnson ¿no? podemos ir desarrollando un poquito más el tema y preparando, preparándonos también, igual falta quedamos pendientes de reuniones como lo que, no, el Inbibu como la plataforma eh, y otras cosas más que aún eh, de lo que tenemos que llevar a, a ustedes ¿no? y bueno, eso es más o menos lo que lo que se avanzó hoy y bueno, nada más tenemos como media hora pero igual siempre pasamos de media hora <risa> pero wait, pero wait, John, que... Johnson is in John Johnson is in the room oh, <laughs> John, it's actually um, he's in, is in the, in the, is in the, the so, platform uh, ya le. Ya to say hi. Hello brother. Ya 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 yo decía. Nice to see you guys. I'm just arriving to my apartment. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, we can't hear you so so um let, let us ask you a question. All right. Can, can I connect with the computer? Wait wait a minute, okay? I, I'm I'm coming back. Oh. I don't know what is it. What is doing? He he oh. just left. Oh. Okay. Um, yeah. so, but, okay. Okay. so that was uh, that was that was Johnson. Uh, bueno, so, Johnson. Si estás si estás viendo, si estás si estás si estás si estás viendo, lo que pasa es que como yeah. eh, no hemos seteado eso y entonces quería ver si podíamos escucharte con en el celular, pero ya más o menos podemos ver que podemos hacer esto, pero teniendo eh, otro celular lejos del laptop y para que se pueda escuchar y claro y podemos invitar personas la próxima vez que estén en yeah. su cuarto en su en sus hoteles yeah we can do that next time you know to, to invite other people who are sure. the room already and if they have time they can come to 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 have a nice chat and, so. yeah it would be would be definitely nice to have a daily debrief not not just the, the, our three ugly faces I'm just a guest here. but uh, <laughs> But uh, but have different perspectives because uh, it's really interesting. Like, all right, we know what people will know what what in in is tracking, what he's what doing, what you're doing. But there's a lot of indigenous peoples that are participating in uh, or here at COP 
that have different roles, different things to they want to focus on. So that that would be super interesting to have a debrief. Había gente that. que había empezado su su side event como las ocho y media, nueve de la mañana. Yeah, there were people already inside the event. They yeah, our brothers from from Ecuador, Guatemala, our sisters, they were already right. uh, yeah, event pretty early in the morning. Can invite maybe per region uh, one one person yeah, to, to to speak to say, but what is doing? Yeah. Really nice. Okay, it's. It's um obviously it's a daily debrief just to uh yeah we want to, want to share what what indigenous peoples are doing uh at, um, so it's uh the more the merrier I would say uh, we have a nice setup <laughs> <laughs> but it has to be quite late because uh, yes so we <laughs> basically later later. Uh, we're at a place that um, usually is occupied by something like, by by other people. Um, so, yeah. but yeah. So uh, let's close it with a few words. Uh, maybe what are the few words? What are the, the word of the day? What's the word of the yes. day for you? Word of the day. Oh. Um, I would say it is a very uh, slow start. Uh, or mixed start. Let's put it that way. Uh, some progress uh, in terms of uh, Article 6, let's put it that way. Uh, but the, the overarching, right, the climate ambition, financing, the, 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 the thing that, that really you know, fuels what we do here, right. uh, those um, aspects have fallen short uh, today. Right. Um, but I'm, I'm really hoping that that, uh, that, that that civil society can really make a difference in the, last, the next couple of weeks. That's approximately 50 words of the day. <laughs> uh, yeah, everything is started with uh, you, you try. One, one word. One word. Yeah. No, not, not explain anything. <laughs> well, you said slow start. Right? Let, 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 let's use that. Yeah. Is it start? I, I said mix start. You said, said mix start. Mix start. Um, cold reception. Cold? Cold reception. That's what I would say. Okay, let's say. I can I, I can like describe what I felt when I was looking for IPO office. Like out out of like feeling out. That's out not belonging, out. not belonging. Oh right. Yeah, because okay. I never expected I, I all around to the what was Yeah, it took name? you a very long time to get yes. into this. Even I, I, was, uh, I was with the what was the name? You were with Arma. Okay. You were with her trying to find the IPO off? Yeah. And then the end it was like we said that was the exit to go outside and not out of the cup. Right. Um, and then you realize it was the oh. IPO. Maybe maybe the, the final words are for Johnson. Maybe that's uh yes the final are for Johnson. Yeah. The, so Johnson, what we're asking because we'll, we'll, before we bring you in, um, do a roundup and maybe end with the the um, the two words of the day. Um, so for me, it's cold reception, mixed start, mixed start, and for uh, um, any it is outside, yeah, something like that. Hey guys. All right, Johnson. Johnson. Hi from uh, Paisley. Um, few words, uh, two words. Um, yeah, you talk. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, it's, 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 it's. Can you hear me? You can. Okay. Yeah, you can. Yeah, just go ahead. Okay. Uh, the two words, perhaps, uh, still is expecting for ambition <laughs> or for commitment of the the parties because they are still they are still uh, looking they are still looking the reports and going to start to what is that what is happening negotiate and and and, and I see that they still need to start and, 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 and the worst, 
And the worst thing in this cup at this moment is the, you know, the entrance in the morning. It took like hour and a half in order to get there. And I hope tomorrow that this improved and it's better in order to get access. Otherwise, it's, it's going to be very, very complex. I was reading in the papers that uh, the, some minister from Israel was complaining about that because even there's no access, um, you know, for handicaps there. And, you know, a lot of issues there. The space is big. We have to walk a lot. But it's the first, the second day, and we are just learning and to... To, to walk into the, the venue. So, yeah, a lot of expectations. I, I hope tomorrow we can, you know, do better and start negotiating. I mean, do our conversation with the governments in order to uh, start, uh, you know, putting their our, our, our language in the in the negotiations. So, expectation is there, hope is there. So tomorrow we will start doing something there. Happy to see you guys. Right, right, okay. Now in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> no. Spanish. Tú tienes la palabra de cierre. Okay. Tú tienes bueno, la palabra de cierre. En, en resumen, yes, en resumen, este día, día, ha, sido día, día, día. ha sido complejo por el tema del ingreso que estuvo complicado. Nos demoramos casi hora y media algunos en ingresar. Eh, luego los estados han empezado a recién a abrir, eh, a revisar los reportes que tienen de los diferentes grupos de trabajo y creo que empezaron uh, las negociaciones esta tarde y mañana tendremos ciertos elementos para poder eh, hablar respecto al tema de los derechos de los pueblos indígenas que hemos estado comentando y creo que los amigos aquí eh, estaban comentando del artículo 6, pues el día de mañana tendremos la posibilidad de ver un nuevo texto en donde podamos trabajar eh, de mejor manera y ver cómo podemos insertar el lenguaje de, de los pueblos indígenas allí. Expectativa es lo que tenemos, esperanza. esperanza, que esperanza, que esperanza. Que mañana continuamos con el trabajo. Un saludo a todos y, y por favor cuídense los ríos los que están por acá y acérquense a, a, los, a los grupos de trabajo del caucus indígena para que puedan definitivamente... Eh, eh, recibir la información adecuada para poder incidir en las negociaciones de mañana. Un abrazo para todos y gracias Gasalí, a Ini y también Tomo que están allá todo el día en el centro de operaciones mientras algunos ya regresamos a casa para poder preparar una sopita de, de, y que nos ayuden este frío. Gracias, buenas noches. Good night. <risa> Appreciate it, Johnson, all the way from uh, from from his uh, from his apartment. <laughs> all right, man. Um, that's it. Any yeah, final? Yeah. Can I do what they can? Uh, well, for tomorrow, for, what, do, tomorrow. What, do, what do we expect for tomorrow? Uh, bueno, yo espero que que las cosas empiecen a moverse y podamos ver un poquito más a detalle las negociaciones de cómo va, de cómo cómo están las partes y creo allí entra el trabajo de todos. Si vemos que en algún país o se está echando o que no está tan cómodo con los temas de los derechos de los pueblos indígenas, creo que toca a todos los que nos estamos aquí incidir, conversar con los eh, líderes negociadores para que puedan apoyar y también hacer esto más fuerte, ¿no? Y ahí entra el trabajo de todos los que estamos participando de una manera u otra, por ejemplo, si le presentan a un viceministro, que el ministro, que algo, que, que tome en cuenta que son los derechos de los pueblos indígenas. Así que mañana eh, sigue esto y seguramente estaremos terminando tarde, empezando temprano, terminando tarde. Algunos han saltado el almuerzo, algunos la cena. Y bueno, esa es la realidad de lo que pasa, que ocurre aquí. Y bueno, la gente está en casa para que también sepan lo que uno está haciendo acá, ¿no? Y se actualiza ya con Johnson, ya quizás podemos hacer algo un poquito más con español también y, y el inglés, y tan siquiera tiene una hora, ya casi vamos a una hora. Así que. Ya saben, mi gente, ya mañana, con calma, tiempo. ¿Sí o no? Yeah. Tomorrow. See tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Yes. Hasta mañana. Hasta mañana.